Hello, just want to make a quick video about VLC and matching the correct version for Mac version of Reaper that you're using. If you're on an M1 Mac and you want to run everything natively, you want to use this universal for Intel and ARM64, the second button on the official Reaper download page. This will allow you to run it native Apple Silicon code. This also gives you the option to run this in Rosetta mode. So you just right click on the app, go to get info and then click on open using Rosetta. This allows you to open up Reaper as if this was on an Intel Mac. And so any Intel only plugins that you use will work in that version of Reaper. One of the problems I ran into was that videos stopped working when I was using the App Apple Silicon version of VLC. So VLC is a media player, but it also is used by Reaper for playing back videos. So you could just download the default version here, uh, which will auto detect Apple Silicon based on my browser here. The other option is to click on this Mac OS, which would give you the Intel version. The downside is that when you're running in Rosetta, the VLC version doesn't switch automatically as well. And so you have to either rename the files. You can have one as vlc.app and another as vlc64.app. And Reaper will detect which version and that will work. But you could also just download the universal binary. However, that's kind of hidden. And I didn't find out about this until yesterday on the Reaper forum. So we're gonna go to VLC at the top and then click on download. And again, we don't see a universal binary in this list. So we're gonna scroll down here and go to VLC for Mac OS X. And obviously that's confusing because we're not on OS X anymore. Click on this little triangle beside the orange download button. We can find VLC for Mac universal binary. And this version will work whether Reaper is running natively, uh, Apple Silicon, or with Rosetta, and your video projects will just play back either way. And I find this really helpful because I have a few projects and templates that are still using that uh, certain plugins that run on Intel only or would be annoying to have bridged. Running this version of VLC makes it just a little bit easier to switch back and forth between the standard mode and using the Rosetta mode. And that's all I wanted to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful.